Welcome back to the show. Happy Sunday, everybody. James Rule XRP on X at Rule XRP. I'm a crypto teacher. Nothing I talk about in my videos is financial advice. We're going to have some fun today. We're going to look at some crypto news. We're going to look at the elections coming up in two days. We're going to look at all kind of interesting things because I give it to you in my own perspective from Texas. I still say yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. And I'm still a God fearing Texan. So let's get after it. We're not going to look at numbers today. We're going to get straight into it. So let's go. Here I am. I took this about an hour ago. I have a wooden United States flag in my house. I have the Trump 2024 take america back camouflage hat do the right thing and on voting in my part of texas southeast texas we're required to show our id slash driver license driver's license to vote and i call pardon my language chicken shit on all other jurisdictions in the united states that are not checking voter ids and driver's license Blockchain will fix this corruption, people. I repeat, blockchain and transparency will fix this corruption. Mario Knopfel, he follows me on X. I follow him on X. He puts out all kind of amazing Twitter spaces. He hosts the largest show on X. He's unfiltered, unbiased, 24-7. Follow him at Mario Knopfel. Trump. Bitcoin is not threatening the dollar. The U.S. government is. The behavior of the current U.S. government is really threatening the dollar. And I will fire Gary Gensler and appoint a new SEC chairman. Bitcoin is not threatening the dollar. The behavior of the current U.S. government is really threatening the dollar. I will fire Gary Gensler and appoint a new SEC chairman. I didn't know he was that unpopular. <laughs> Way to go, Trump. I'm hoping and praying that you get it Tuesday. I'm going to be up late Tuesday. And if you vote for the other side, that's up to you. I don't have anything against you, but, you know, we need better things. Okay. This morning I was going through all my emails. I was going through all my spam emails. And I pulled up a couple because as a content creator, as a influencer on social media, I feel that it is my responsibility to show you the good as well as the bad. And here's some of the bad. You're going to receive emails from fake Coinbases. You're going to receive emails from fake wallets, crypto wallets, your bank, Amazon, fake this, fake that, fake this. Well, scam emails will make you think that you will be losing your investments. These are ways to steal your crypto. Do not reply. Click any internal links in the emails or trust anyone. Be smart. Delete, delete, delete. And here is the email. If you take a look, it's from Sabine Holtz at t slash online dot de. And uh, this is a fake scammer's email address. It says, dear, this is for a fake trust wallet. Trust wallet is a wallet you can download to your phone to hold crypto. It says, dear user. A transaction in your wallet has flagged affecting all the crypto assets stored there. To resolve this and protect your funds, please verify the transaction on our website immediately. Do not attempt to withdraw or deposit any more crypto into your wallet until verification is processed, is complete. Failing to comply may lead to the irreversible loss of your funds. Do not click on the Get Started link. This is total bullshit. These bastards out there are making a killing. And here is another one. This is not Ledger Wallet. The email is vote at simplyvoting.com. Ledger, your device is vulnerable to potential threats. Blah, 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 blah. Regular firmware updates are crucial. Complete now. The completion of this firmware is required by November the 1st. Hello. They're a little late. Hello. Do not click on any emails. Do not answer any phone calls. Do not trust any comments on social media, Facebook, Telegram, X, Twitter, whatever. If you see a help desk saying, hey, look, sorry about your problems. You know, you just tweeted this out or posted this out. I'm with the Coinbase help desk. If you click here, we'll help you send your crypto to us and you'll lose all your shit. All right. Congratulations to the four winners of 200 XRP on the Monorex giveaway. 
four winners were chosen randomly by X picker. And these are the four. Uh, if you're on this list, be sure to instant message at Monorex official. Basically what they did, they had a promotion where you like and retweet and follow, and they're giving away 200 XRP to four winners. Congratulations again. Coming up in a little over two days, flare drop number 21 of 36 is coming November the 6th. 2024 and if we go to flares webpage flare.network forward slash flare drops i'll leave a copy to everything below monthly flare drops can be claimed by everyone who stakes flare or holds rat flare what are flare drops there are 36 monthly flare drops totaling 24.2 billion flare which can be claimed by active flare community members who have wrapped their flare into wrapped flare or staked to a flare validator Every 30 days, approximately 670 million flare are divided between active network participants based on their combined rat flare holdings and flare stake. There is going to be a total of 36 flare drops, 24 billion, 246 million flare claimable every 30 days. All unclaimed tokens will be burned after 67 days. So if you are claiming the flare drops in the Bifrost wallet, be sure to claim these every month before the 67 day period or you will lose it. I have a tutorial video, go back a couple of months, how to stake your flare, how to wrap your flare in the Bifrost wallet, how to allocate to the flare time series oracles to get fractional airdrops every few days. There's a video in this page and here is the schedule. It's, as you can see, it's going to be a total of 36. Right now, we are at, are going to be at November 6, 2024. And every month for another 15 months after that, you're going to receive a flare drop. So get excited. Do your research. If you have any questions, send me an instant message on X at Rule XRP. Let's go. CoinGape, got this out there. And here recently, the SEC and the sorry little prick Gary Gensler sent a Wells notice out to Immutable. Now, they sent a Wells out saying, we're going to sue your ass because you're doing this with securities and blah, 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 blah. Well, a former SEC official criticizes sudden Wells notice against Immutable. Former SEC official Mark Fagel questions the agency's Wells notice to Immutable as crypto firms face a $400 million compliance cost under Gensler. Regulation by enforcement, by enforcement is criminal. I'm sorry, I'm getting wound up. Regulation by enforcement is criminal. The SEC has been making these rules under Gary Gensler for the past three to four years. They have been sending out Wells notices. They have been unlawfully suing companies. They have been costing these companies millions and millions and millions of dollars in fees, lawyer fees, and all the above. And, you know, a lot of the times the companies lost and it put the companies out of business. Well, you got the Coinbases, you got the Krakens, you got the Ripples that are fighting, that have enough money to fight and win a level playing field for the crypto market. Okay, calm down, James. Fuck Gary Gensler. Okay, highlights. Immutable received SEC Wells notice alleging security law violations without specific details. It says that former SEC official Mark Fagel has voiced concerns over the SEC's recent issuance of a Wells notice to Immutable, an Ethereum-based Web3 gaming company. Now, Ethereum was supposedly classified as a commodity with the FDIC. Immutable claims that the Wells notice arrived with limited prior communication or explanation marking a sharp departure from what is typically a more extensive investigative process. Fagel commented that it is unusual for the SEC to issue such notices without first conducting a thorough investigation, suggesting that this approach could be risky. Immutable announced it had received a sudden Wells notice from the SEC, the notice which serves as a formal alert for potential enforcement action, regulation by enforcement, make up the rules as they go, cited alleged securities law violations related to the private IMX token sales in 2021. However, the specifics of these illegal violations were minimally detailed in the notice, sparking questions about the SEC's procedural 
approach. Mark Fagel commented. By the way, it's hard to believe that the SEC would wells without conducting sufficient investigation to support the claims. Way too risky outside the TRO scenario. That said, I've heard plenty of anecdotes about the crypto unit dropping a wells out of the blue, which is kind of scuzzy. Wells notice reflects SEC's regulation by enforcement. They make up the rules as they go. They make up the rules as they go. Well, Consensus responded to the SEC claims on MetaMask. Blockchain company Consensus recently filed a response to the SEC's claim regarding alleged securities violations by MetaMask. Consensus disputed the allegation, stating that MetaMask products embodies essential blockchain principles. It allows users to interact in a decentralized way, DeFi, decentralized finance. The company also reinformed its commitment to defending its product and technology within the legal framework. Notably, under Chair Gary Gensler, crypto firms have reported heightened compliance burdens. Regulatory enforcement actions have cost the industry an estimated $400 million, according to the Blockchain Association. This reports aligned with what the former SEC official Mark Fagel terms as scuzzy. Gary Gensler has to go. The SEC needs to change the way they go to business. They're running this technology out of the United States. They're stifling technology in the United States. And Gary has to go. Immutable was issued a Wells notice just before the election. Does the SEC have the time to follow through before this asshole Gary Gensler gets fired? I'll leave a link to everything below. All right, let's have some fun. So in the past seven years since I've been in crypto, especially in the past couple of years, I have been what they call cash poor. Everything I have is pretty much in crypto. And I don't suggest this to all of you out there. Put a small portion. You know, I'm not a financial advisor, but I went all in. I have 95% in crypto and I have about 5% in um, dirty cash fiat. Well, crypto guys, this is from Naive. Crypto guys will live like this to buy an extra $500 in crypto every month. Check it out. <laughs> Slice it thin, baby. We got to save money. Oh, that's out. Slice it thin. We got to stretch it out, baby. <laughs> oh, man. It is so true. You know, Raymond Noodles uh, uh, driving a, a used vehicle for 14 years now, which is still new to me because I take care of it. Uh, not having a lot of bills, not having any credit cards outstanding. You know, you live frugally because you know the good things are going to happen in their future. And I'm just getting this out for fun. <laughs> Also, seven years and counting. People who've been in crypto for four years or seven years. This is how it has been. Check it out. Everything's fine. The fire, the aliens, the wars, the rain, the bombs. Everything's fine. I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to eat my soup. It's been a bumpy roller coaster ride, especially with the stifling of innovation from the SEC and all the goons in our U.S. government. But I tell you what, you have to vote in the next couple of years, in the next couple of days. I'm sorry, next couple of days. It seems like it's been years. You need to vote. You need to get out and vote. And you need to vote for the right candidate. You need to vote for the crypto candidates that are going to make a difference in the United States in the upcoming two to four years. Now, every once in a while, I'll get on X and I will post some extraordinary pieces of real estate to open your mind to the possibilities of looking through the trees, looking out past the universe and realizing the decisions you are making today is pretty much going to give you and your family and future descendants anything they want. So yesterday, I've been following this guy, Inez Yilmazer. I probably butchered it. He he does a lot of uh, walkthroughs on these amazing real estates. This is a one hundred seventy-seven million dollar mega mansion, mega mansion in Los Angeles. 
And I want you, I want to take a couple of minutes. I'm going to hit play. And if there's any music, I'm going to turn it down. No music is playing, but look at this piece of real estate. Look at the lighting. Look at the gas fires. Look at the architecture. You're going to have to watch the whole video. It's like the video is about an hour long and each section, including the roof is unique in its own kind of way. And this is the guy that actually created it. It is so amazing. $177 million. It's private. They set it up so that the neighbors or people from the road cannot see it. Look at this. Look at this. And they have a garage where you can actually drive into the house. They have all kind of seating areas. They have all kind of just amazing. They have an indoor spa. They have the lighting outside. They have, It's just a wonderful, unique, I call it a piece of art. It is a piece of product. Look at this. And it's lit up at night. And it's just amazing to see the architecture in this video. And it gets you thinking outside the box. And it gets you thinking about, you know, have I made the right financial decisions? Have I done the right thing for my family? Am I doing the right thing for my family? Well, being a one percenter in the world of crypto and waiting for the other 99% of the world to catch up, if you've done the right thing and if you've dove into several blockchain ecosystems that have utility, no matter how little or how much you have, believe me, you have done the right thing. My name is James Rule, XRP, the James Rule Crypto Show. Be, ter- be sure to subscribe. Check out the links below. Check out my sponsors in my link tree below. And I hope everyone has a wonderful week. And don't forget, you need to vote, 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 because I told you so.